from an unlucky local in Brazil who wound up driving right into a sinkhole, and a reckless driver in England who decided to speed through dense fog to an icy road in Russia that proved too slippery for this nervous driver, and a duo in India that got washed away after attempting to drive through a badly flooded street. Here are 10 Idiot Drivers versus Mother Nature. Fog can be any driver's worst nightmare. Thankfully, most of us are wise enough to slow down and take things extra cautiously. That said, some people don't think the rules of the road apply to them, like this impatient driver in Lancashire, England. It was September 4th of 2017. A dense fog had overtaken the M65 near Accrington, a small town in Lancashire. Letitia Hayes had her dash cam rolling when she and several other cars approached the mist. They all did the right thing. It was this other maniac that ruined their day. Letitia may have been going a little fast, but at least she could stop herself. The other car came up behind her, meaning they were going even faster, maybe a little too fast. Things got extra scary after Letitia pulled onto the shoulder. Seconds after she moves, a giant truck slams on its brakes, nearly hitting the car ahead. Had Letitia not moved, the truck would have sandwiched her. In total, eight cars crashed on that foggy day on the M65. Four people were taken to the hospital, but walked away with minor injuries. If you live in a snowy climate, you know how dangerous the roads can get in the winter. Some of us learned to drive in these conditions. The ice is just something you deal with. For others, the ice is their worst enemy. The worst thing you can do is panic. But that's what happened to this Russian driver in January of 2015. The roads were covered in ice and snow. It didn't help that all the main streets were on a steep incline. Our cameraman might have been a trained professional, but it's usually other drivers you have to be wary of. Luckily, the sliding car stopped at the bottom without hurting anybody. Our cameraman pulls over to check on him. It looks like the driver might be inspecting his tires. From what we can tell, they're okay, just a little shaken up. Modern cars are built with gears and gadgets to control sliding on ice. They'll dial back throttle response and increase traction control. Some cars will also start auto transmission in second gear to avoid wheel spin. But ultimately, ice safety comes down to the driver. If you can, avoid driving in these conditions. Never slam on your brakes if you get caught on ice. Accelerate slowly and gently steer into the slide to avoid spinning out like this driver. Rahotu, New Zealand is a coastal town in the Taranaki region. The name translates to Long for the Sun from the indigenous Polynesian language of Maori. You could say the locals were begging for the sun when a powerful storm moved through on April 10th of 2018. A blue collar worker was driving his spreader truck to a job site when he found himself in the middle of the storm. Things didn't seem bad at first, just a little rain, wind, and lightning. But then things picked up and our driver realized how much trouble he was in. 
I'm gonna have to pull over, I'm only doing 60. Me. The lightning is horrendous. Yep, that's a yep. <laughs> Where's the road? Holy sh Holy f um. <laughs> Yeah, there's a f***ing tornado somewhere. I'm in the f***ing tornado. Holy sh I'm in a f***ing tornado. This is f***ing mental. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy f***. There's f***ing trees. Trees coming down. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Now the rain's coming from that way. Holy f This video shows how quickly Mother Nature can creep up on you. He went from driving through a rainstorm to getting caught in a tornado. He's lucky none of those trees hit his truck or blocked the road. Floods can happen at any time in India. The people of Andhra Pradesh know that all too well. The coastal state is on the western border of the Bay of Bengal and is highly prone to monsoons and tropical storms. All 49 million people are under constant flood watch. On July 30th of 2020, one of those floods ripped through the inland village of Guti. Water rushed over a causeway as locals were trying to flee in their cars. One of them should have waited for the water to pass. Their car keeps drifting away. Our cameraman can hardly keep up. Then, just when it looks like our drivers are doomed, their car gets stuck on something in the water. It might be a rock, or a log, or a raised plateau in the riverbed. Either way, it saves them from disappearing downriver. But that was just one of their worries. Now, they have to escape. There's nothing but rushing water in every direction. If they step off whatever they're standing on, they'll likely float down river and never be seen again. The camera cuts, and the next thing we see, two locals are wading into the shallow water to rescue our stranded drivers. It takes a while, but our drivers finally grab hold of their rescuers and make the slow trek back to dry land. In the end, everyone walked away unharmed. Torrential rains battered the area for two days before the flood. We imagine they weren't the only ones to lose valuable property. Vissosa is a small town in the Brazilian state of Minas Gerais. It's home to about 80,000 people and one very unlucky driver. It was June 5th of 2017. Our driver was moving along when, out of nowhere, a sinkhole opened under their car. The hood fell in, but luckily not enough to trap them inside. The scene drew quite the crowd and only got worse as more people showed up. <laughs> Jesus, 
daí, menino? Jesus Todo-Poderoso. You can keep your eyes on the road all you want. There's nothing you can do about sinkholes opening in your blind spot. We can't say the same about this next driver in Beihai, China, who simply drove right into one. CCTV cameras were rolling when a 50-foot sinkhole opened in the middle of the road. Now, we understand it's dark out, but the massive crater seems hard to miss. Our scooter driver saw it at the last second, but didn't have enough time to slow down. Luckily, he pulled himself out without injury. Aftermath footage gives a better look at just how big the sinkhole was. <laughs> Crews arrived the next day to dig out the debris and begin work to fill the hole. Hopefully, they were able to recover his scooter in one piece. Australia has seen some wild hailstorms over the years. In November of 2019, stones the size of cricket balls rained on southeastern Queensland. It didn't help that many residents were on evacuation watch as brush fires moved through areas in the north. A local man was driving down the National Freeway en route to Brisbane when he found himself caught in the middle of the storm. What started as heavy rain quickly turned into a windshield-shattering storm. It looks like our driver has four or five good holes in his windshield that spiderweb into bigger cracks. Just imagine what the roof of his car must look like. If it's any consolation, his car wasn't the only one that got beat up that day. Tens of thousands across Queensland had similar damage to their homes. About 23,000 people lost power. The Insurance Council of Australia called the storm a catastrophe. They received roughly 5,000 claims, totaling over $40 million in damages. In the small Indian village of Hingangon, locals rallied together to rescue a truck driver stuck in the muck. It was September 26th of 2019. Several days of surging rains had caused the local stream to overflow. But this trucker had places to be, a job to do. He wasn't about to let a flooded road stand between him and his paycheck. Unfortunately, he never made those deliveries. The easy part was over. They got the shaken driver out of the truck. He was okay, but he was too scared to move. That's when they called in the big guns to get both men off the truck. The excavator trudges through the flood and lowers its bucket. Both men carefully navigate the flipped truck and climb inside. Our driver nearly falls out when the bucket starts moving. The other guy grabs his arm and tells him to get down. They take a slow ride over the murky water and arrive on dry land. Our driver is relieved the ordeal is over. 
Now, he's just worried about what he'll tell his boss. Mudslides are no joke, especially in Southeast Asia. In late February of 2019, one of those dangerous mudslides rocked the Indian town of Kulu in Himachal Pradesh. Geographically, Kulu is mud and landslide prone. They lie on the banks of the Bias River and have an average elevation of nearly 4,400 feet. It's full of mountains and valleys that become extremely dangerous when heavy rains fall. These locals tried to save their truck from certain doom, but it was to no avail. Thankfully, nobody was inside the truck when it got stuck in the mud. According to reports, the driver was on his way to a vegetable market when the mudslide took him by surprise. He climbed to safety, but his truck was stuck in the mud. And we're not sure if the excavator helped or hurt his cause. It seems like the mud flows faster after they scoop a little out. That causes the edge to erode, and the truck slides into the valley. It's hard to imagine that that used to be a road. Now, it's just a giant pile of gray muck. Every day, millions of parents around the United States entrust bus drivers to get their kids home safely from school. For these parents in Leander, Texas, they might consider driving the children home themselves. In October of 2018, a freak flash flood put everyone on high alert. It prompted police to block off County Road 177 as the low water crossing was completely flooded. On Google Maps, you can see what it looks like on a normal non-flood day. But police barricades weren't about to stop bus driver Nathan. He decided to roll the dice and take the shortcut down 177. To make things worse, Nathan has a young student on the bus with him. They approach the crossing, which looks like a road leading into a raging river. Nathan hesitates for a moment, but decides to keep going. Water quickly overtakes the bus. Soon, the hood disappears and the tires separate from the road. The bus nearly flips as it falls off the narrow strip. Now, Nathan and the student are free floating downstream. Luckily, the bus is big and buoyant enough to keep itself steady. They eventually got stuck downriver and rescue workers were able to get them off safely. For his reckless actions, Nathan was charged with child endangerment, a second-degree felony punishable by up to 20 years. Hopefully, he'll obey the barricades next time and take the long way around. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.